What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the class change token edition uh, that a lot of people in the community are really wanting to come to the game this year. A lot of people are hoping that Zoss finally decides to add that class change token into the game. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout to save 5%, and Amazon Associates. I have a ton of stuff linked down in the description that I use every day when gaming, some items you might be interested in for yourself. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you have not hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and sub to the channel. Now, when it comes to a class change token, I've talked about this in past videos. This has been a topic in the community for a really long time. A lot of players would love to see a class change token. Some people don't really see the uh, need in it, of course. Uh, if you're like myself, you played for a long time, you probably have the max amount of characters. A lot of player, players are going to have anywhere from 15 to 18 characters. You probably already have what you need. But there's also a lot of other players out there that only get to play for a limited time, you know, in a week. So it's hard for them to have multiple characters. So, you know, a lot of people would like to have the option to have that class change token. Now, if you needed to change the class and the race, that might get kind of expensive considering I'm sure a class change token, if it was added to the game, it would probably be as pricey as the race change token or even more. But at the same time, I think there's some ways that Zoss could get around adding this into the game if they don't want to add it. You know, if they're just really adamant not about not adding a class change token in, there's some things they could do. I think they could, you know, make it where your mount speed is un unlocked across all characters. So whichever character, you know, you have the highest mount speed, you have the highest, you know, stamina, the highest riding capacity. That is what it is unlocked across all characters. So it kind of would work like the CP does, you know. Once you have CP, it's unlocked across every character you make. Some other things they could do was maybe, you know, make it so some of the skills, you know, your mages, guild, and all that stuff were unlocked across multiple characters. That's one reason a lot of people don't like making more than one character. They don't have to grind out all those skill points again. They don't have to grind out that mount speed again, especially if you're making a character to play PvP with in Cyrodiil. You don't want a character that has slow mount speed because you're going to be riding for the rest of your life pretty much uh, across, you know, the different places within Cyrodiil to go from one point to another. So there are some ways that Zoss could kind of, you know, make this so there's no need for a class change token. But overall, this, like I said, has been a, a topic for a long time in the community. People are wanting this. And I think a lot of people are really hoping that the class change token will be available in, you know, ESO in 2022. I think people are hoping that's something Zoss is finally going to add into the game. It's finally going to be something that comes to the game because it's been something that's been asked for for a really long time now. So would you guys like to see a class change token added into the game? Or would you rather see Zoss make some changes to just the system in general and make it so where, like I said, where your mount speed and stuff is, you know, available to all characters once you rank it up on one character. Uh, same goes for, you know, like your fighter's guild, your mage's guild. Would you like to see that stuff be account wide, just kind of across the board? Or would you rather just have the option to buy that class change token and keep the system the way it is now? Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.